everybody. Welcome to Life Wave Now. I'm Paula Shaw, co-host with Jim Caldwell, who is here with me tonight. And we are delighted that you're all here because it's a crazy time, right? It's a, it's a time that nobody on the planet has ever lived through before. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? And we have with us tonight our beloved David Schmidt, in my opinion, smartest man in the world. And he's going to be answering a lot of questions for us and probably giving a lot of us comfort. But first, our Jim Caldwell, our beloved Jim Caldwell, has a few things he needs to fill us in on on the corporate end of things. So Jim, why don't you go ahead and do that before we start chatting with David? Why, thank you, Paula. I, <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Welcome, everybody. Great to have you alongside as we as we do share some information that's pretty important, actually, when you think about, you know, these are crazy times, you know, what is it, the best of times, the worst of times, it's this interesting blend that we're all having to deal with. And we know that you in your locality, your neighborhood, your family, you're all going through the exact same things we are. So we are, we are completely empathetic to, to everything that, that everybody is experiencing. You know, on the corporate side, we're certainly, as you've watched David twice now in the last, what, eight or nine days, uh, he's put on a fantastic set of webinars providing a ton of valuable information that you can put to work today to to really help protect yourself in a way that that is all natural. Think about the ways in which he's talked about the the types of things you can do that will bolster your immune system and having nothing to do with our technology. Because as you know, we have to be careful. Uh, we don't have the studies, we don't have the data to be able to make any kind of a claim relative to coronavirus, but there's some great news uh, that we'll be sharing over the next half hour about some things that you can do. Uh, you know, we've been, as you know, you might have heard that we're, you know, we have a heart uh, here at LifeWave and we're completely, um, we have deep empathy for uh, those distributors that are, you know, working part time, uh, and sometimes a little bit of a hand up makes a difference. Uh, so, those those uh, uh, distributors that are earning some commission, but less than two hundred dollars, uh, the last day or two, we elected to put an extra fifty dollars into their account, just as a way of of offering our support in a way that we think could be meaningful to them. At the same time, we, we moved from a 30-day money-back guarantee to a 90-day money-back guarantee for retail customers and preferred customers, giving you an opportunity to be able to, to embellish and enrich in the story to say, are you kidding me? We've got a 90-day money-back guarantee. So talk about risk-free. That's what it becomes. So it becomes easier for you to tell the story uh, about LifeWave. And, you know, we, we uh, are also considering many other things. Uh, David mentioned a few of those the other day in his, and I think it was uh, yesterday, My How Time Flies was just yesterday. He was talking about several initiatives we're looking at, we're considering. There is an interesting, we're getting great feedback from the field as well, some strong suggestions that we're also taking into account. So just know that we are not standing still, we are paying attention and we do intend to Try to do some things that will be meaningful to the field, that will be uh, helpful to the field, and be uh, protective of the company in ways that, you know, we be careful about our inventory. We make sure that, you know, some countries aren't even letting us ship goods into those countries. So we have to be careful and manage our inventory and logistics and supply chain effectively. We can make tons of product. It's a question of getting it actually out to the field. So just be aware of that. And, uh, you know, uh, Paula, when you think about what, uh, what we've been doing as a company for 15 years, we've always been there for earthquakes, uh, horrible storms, um, bushfires in Australia, uh, working with the Red Cross. So, you know, everyone at LifeWave knows that uh, when it comes to helping those in the field, we certainly are going to do everything we can to do that, huh? And that's the kind of people we are. You know, I think that's absolutely part of our brand, part of our, why we exist, you know, why David created this all, because we want to help people. We want life to be better and we want more health and more wellness. So yeah, makes total sense to me. Yeah. So let's say hi to David. Are you going to bring him on or David, are you ready to jump on? Let's, let's get into it. 
<laughs> All right, Jim, I'm ready to uh, jump on. Hey, Paula, how are you? I'm good, David. So good to see you. So Great good. to see both of you. And I think everybody with us tonight knows very well who you are. But <laughs> if for some reason you just arrived from another planet, this is our CEO, inventor, major brainiac, and the man <laughs> who keeps coming up with more and more wonderful things to make our lives better. Thank you. And I, I Jim, I got the uh, Star Trek reference, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. It was the best of times, the worst of times, a tale of two cities. <laughs> See, I knew you'd refer to that. <laughs> I, I would. You're not going to slip a Star Trek reference past me, I will tell you that. So. <laughs> we know that. In fact, if you and George Lucas are the best of friends probably by now, right? Well, now, now, when you're slipping into George Lucas, you're going into the Star Wars universe. You have to be with Gene Roddenberry uh, to be back in, in Star Trek. Sorry about that. So, uh, Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to go down that road. And, you know, funny enough, we, you, you and I were talking about William Shatner today uh, because we had done a little thing uh, a number of years ago called Moving America Forward. And uh, that was a wonderful show. We got an award, uh, as a matter of fact, from Mr. Shatner um, in recognition of LifeWave technology. And uh, for many years, that was a uh, great video uh, that our members would share. And as a matter of fact, that video is still up on YouTube and uh, it had been uh, subtitled in many languages. Uh, so um, anyway, yeah. enough with Star Trek. Ha. Well, you know, I know Paula's got several questions she might want to jump into, but just kind of, you heard what I said at the top of the show, and certainly as the founder, and you know, you're, you're, the, uh, you're, you're part of the brand, and you have such a heart for making sure that everybody across the world is, uh, knows that we're there for them. How would you characterize things these days, and what would you say to the field as a kind of an overarching message, knowing that in the last week, you've, you've spent a lot of time on air trying to comfort, trying to provide information to our distributors? Yeah, so the first thing is we're going to get through this. Uh, we're all going to get through it and everything is going to be okay. Uh, the recommendations uh, that the governments are giving out uh, should be followed. Uh, isolation is absolutely going to be the best way for someone to protect themselves. You think safety first, uh, but then beyond that, what can you do? So that, of course, has been the subject of um, of our webinars and we don't have to feel like there's nothing else that we can do other than washing our hands or keeping our distance there's many many options that are available and of course we covered those so we don't have to go back over all of those specifics now uh, right at the second regarding our business we've been taking an awful lot of measures to make sure from the ground up that everything is running and uh, we won't have any type of interruptions. And I would want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the staff at LifeWave uh, because they have been incredible. Uh, people understand that our products provide a tremendous amount of comfort and relief to those people that need it. And uh, so they've been committed to keep our manufacturing sites here in the United States and in Ireland up and running so people can get the products. So. That being said, you know, we look at our supply of inventory of raw materials for making the patches. We're in great shape with that. Um, so the next thing, of course, is how do we get those products out to the uh, warehouses? And this is where we start to run into delays with some of the carriers. Yeah. So overall, things are going to be fine and, uh, and we're going to get through it. Um, and uh, we're working really, really long hours to make sure that uh, our distributors and our customers can get our products. You know, it's interesting. Uh, one second, Paula. Two weeks ago, David, think about what a difference two weeks makes, right? I mean, two weeks ago, the language, our stance, our awareness, our, our experiences were completely different. And today, you know, talk about having to be nimble as a company. That's what we've had to do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know, we've had to respond very, very rapidly. It's been a lot of long days. Uh, uh, like you, I start my day at six, seven o'clock in the morning and, and finish up at 10 o'clock at night. And it, it's all fine uh, because we're helping a lot of people in the process. And, um, you know, when we've examined our organization, 
you know, this has not been something that's happened overnight. The company, of course, started in 2004. We've invested uh, over the years millions of dollars into manufacturing, more money into our infrastructure and our staff, and uh, we're very well capable now of uh, handling this crisis, adapting, adapting to it, and responding. So uh, as a company, we're solid, and uh, of course, even better, uh, since we've been in momentum these past 18 months, we, we have a tremendous amount of cash reserves, so we're not in any type of uh, financial jeopardy whatsoever. So everything is uh, very, very solid. Excellent. Very cool. <laughs> May I jump in now? Because you know I'm chomping at the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Paula. You know, David, one of my roles in this in this show is representing the distributors. And so very often they come to me with their concerns or with their questions, and especially this week because you were going to be with us. And so what I want to say is that a lot of people, we know we can't make medical claims. We know we have these amazing patches. First of all, this is kind of a two-parter. What patches would you say are most important for us ourselves to be using now going through this time and can you give us some guidelines about how we can position the patches so we're in a safety zone talking about them to others sure uh great questions and fortunately um our distributors have a tremendous amount of selection available on the products as far as what they're going to use and why so we can talk through these things i was careful not to cover it on the webinar actually um, because at that time i was thinking through how can we make recommendations without having regulatory bodies like the fda and the ftc say well wait a minute you're suggesting that your products are going to be able to prevent or or treat this virus so that's why i stayed away from it but as we've talked through it, we've said, well, you know, uh, everybody is under stress now because of the uncertainty, because of the information changes daily. And one of the things our products are great at is stress management. So to answer this portion of the question first, I'd say that when we're out there marketing, we can market our products for stress management. So for example, Eon is self-explanatory. That's product we exclusively market for stress management. But our other products do contribute to a reduction in stress. For example, glutathione, as the body's master antioxidant, does a wonderful job of buffering the effects of inflammatory and oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. So elevating your glutathione is one method for helping your body deal with stress. The energy patches. Uh, this is kind of a funny one. You wouldn't normally think of energy patches as stress management. However, they really are. When we're increasing the available amounts of energy in the body, we handle stress much, much better. Not only that, you know, you're an expert with acupuncture in the body's energy system. And, you know, when you stimulate certain meridians and acupuncture points and reinforce uh, the body's energy system, that's going to help your body deal with stress. That's now, of course, I save the big one, which is X39. Um, X39 is going to help improve the body's antioxidant system. It does, uh, as Melinda Connor found out in her study, it does support immune function. And this is all going to create a wonderful platform for helping the body deal with stress. So this is the way that I would position it, is keeping the body's antioxidant system charged, and uh, managing stress. That's how we can be going out and uh, marketing these. I love that. But I wanna ask you about a patch you didn't mention because um, online this week, I watched a video that Dr. Ben Lynch did. Are you familiar with him? I can't say that I am. He's a naturopathic doctor. He's a cell biologist. He's a leader in epigenetics research. Um, has a huge following. He had a very interesting video on this week talking about how, you know, the different vulnerable groups. Well, we all know there are certain conditions that make people vulnerable to the virus, like diabetes and, um, you know, the uh, cardiovascular disease and those sorts of things. But he pointed out that one of the things that makes the elderly vulnerable 
is low melatonin levels. And, and he said, I just wanna read this one little thing so I get the words right. Melatonin alleviates acute lung injury through inhibiting NLRP3 inflammasome. Well, we have a patch that increases melatonin levels, don't we? And could we that be effective for raising our body's melatonin levels to, in this way to help us the way he's talking about? So, uh, Silent Night's patch was shown to elevate melatonin, and that's what it's designed to do. And melatonin is, is pretty remarkable. Of course, uh, it's manufactured in the absence of light, and this is why it's important for people to sleep in a room that's dark and not sleep with any lights on or, or any light coming in through the windows so our bodies can make melatonin. Melatonin is, uh, has anti-cancer properties, it's antiviral, and uh, it's usually applied in very, very high doses. So for example, uh, one of the gentlemen that was a speaker at our very first conference in Las Vegas in 2005, Dr. Frank Schallenberger. Uh, he's a medical doctor and he's considered a world authority on ozone therapy. And uh, Dr. Schallenberger will regularly use megadoses of melatonin to support the body's immune system uh, and um, because of its anti-cancer effects. Um, I've seen actually clinical studies with the use of specific wavelengths of blue light and melatonin as a very powerful antiviral. So the question then becomes, um, what is the dosing that's required to make melatonin effective as an antiviral. With something like coronavirus, what I would say is uh, Silent Nights would be a good product to improve the quality of sleep, but I wouldn't depend on those levels of melatonin uh, for antiviral effects. Uh, if I wanted to use melatonin as an antiviral um, it, for someone that was infected, uh, I would be using very, very high doses of melatonin, 20, 30 milligrams. And we're not going to get that through a, a Silent Nights patch. We correct? won't, uh, but it's also not necessarily the best way to do it either. Longer story, of course, is the um, amount of melatonin that you would take in, even sublingually, doesn't necessarily translate into blood levels of melatonin. Um, there's some degradation that takes place. But re regardless, uh, there are several different ways to look at efficacy when it comes to melatonin because it depends on other factors in the immune system. So, you know, long story short, obviously getting a good night's sleep uh, is, is going to be critical to overall immune function. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's certainly going to be a good product for that. So it certainly can't hurt anything. No. We're sleeping better, we're getting some melatonin, and so it's a step in the right direction for sure. Definitely a step in the right direction. <laughs> okay. And one other question I wanted to run by you, and then I'll, I'll let Jim ask one. Um, right. You mentioned in the webinar, and, and in fact in both webinars, that copper was very effective in, that viruses could not live or could not live long in the presence of copper. So I kind of wondered, because you mentioned gargling with hydrogen peroxide, should you feel a sore throat coming on? I take Kuiper, a copper glycinate every day, and you know I know it comes in little capsules. If I felt a sore throat coming on, would it be valuable to open a couple of those capsules and put that in water or whatever and gargle with that? That's really funny that you should say that. I'm gonna, before we talk about copper, we're gonna talk about zinc because okay. uh, I'll tell you about how uh, zinc gluconate was discovered as an antiviral. So there was a child that had a coronavirus, actually the common flu, and he was sick and his doctor wanted to put him on a copper supplement, because, uh, sorry, on a, a zinc supplement because he thought the zinc might help to knock out the germ but this young child couldn't swallow the pill, so he decided that he was gonna chew it instead. And the child got almost immediate relief of the sore throat. <laughs> so uh, it was then that uh, this doctor figured out uh, that zinc gluconate made an excellent antiviral. Uh, zinc sulfate, 
is another excellent antiviral. So uh, funny enough, I've never seen a, a study where copper was used in a form that you could have it as a lozenger. Uh, and of course, this coronavirus, the novel coronavirus, with, which causes COVID-19, is very infectious and lodges in the throat. And uh, there's about, <clears throat> it's about 10,000 times more infectious than the common flu is the number that I've heard. Hmm. So what you're saying makes complete sense is uh, if you can uh, take it, uh, I don't know what <clears throat> a copper chelate or a copper glycinate tastes like. I've never tried it, <laughs> but it, it, it makes complete sense uh, that coating the throat with uh, copper glycinate or zinc gluconate uh, would have uh, antiviral effects on a coronavirus. Wow. And what if, go ahead. Sorry, Jim. I know I'm hogging the whole thing. You have more to say, Paula? <laughs> you know, I, I, this always happens to me when I'm around David. I just, my brain just gets going. <laughs> Can I ask him one last thing? Oh, hang on. What if, what if you threw some BHT in there? Hmm. Now, BHT is a different story because it's fat soluble. So you'd probably want to mix the BHT with coconut oil. And coconut oil also is, uh, is antiviral as well. Right. Um, so you might get some extra benefits there. But of course, um, with coronavirus, we would be concerned about the virus being in the throat, uh, but then eventually getting over into the uh, respiratory system. Right. So taking it, um, taking it as uh, to coat the throat would be fine because it's going to get into the stomach and be absorbed eventually anyway. Right. Um, it, it's just that the taste of it uh, yeah. might not be so good. So, yeah. yeah. All right. One thing to <laughs> find out, uh, it's just kind of an interesting confluence of experiences back in uh, Gosh, uh, 92, 93, I met the owners of a company that uh, produced this uh, uh, zinc gluconate glycine lozenge called Coldies. And it's commercially available out throughout the country in the CVSs of the world. So to your point, David, you know, there is something that's commercially available, readily, uh, you know, uh, seven, eight, nine dollars for a box of like 18, that kind of thing. And they've got two double blind studies showing the efficacy of knocking down the uh, severity and duration of the common cold. So that's your point there, isn't it? That, that indeed it's been shown to be effective and, and it's readily available as well. Yeah, you know, what's so uh, disappointing about the is the lack of information in the media. You know, they, they could be empowering people and taking this opportunity to say, look, we don't know if the coronavirus, the novel coronavirus is gonna respond the same way as the common cold, but there's no harm in you taking zinc gluconate, right? We know that it kills the common coronavirus and shortens the duration. So if you get infected, take some zinc gluconate. What's gonna be the risk? What they could say as well, you know, we don't know if there's going to be an adverse effect. And so, uh, you know, they look at it from a point of view of liability and so on and so forth. But, you know, the fact of the matter is that the risk is incredibly low. Hydrogen peroxide, you know, another case in point. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen peroxide naturally occurs in the human body. It's part of the system uh, that the body uses for manufacturing energy. It's part of our immune system. And it's composed of water and oxygen. So what would be the problem in recommending hydrogen peroxide, which is cheap mm -hmm. and readily available as a gargle in the case of infection or as a preventative? Shouldn't be any issue whatsoever. Um, I'm very passionate about oxygen therapies. They should be standard of care in every hospital around the world because they're safe and they're unbelievably effective and this is something that's been known since the late 1940s. So these are things that people can use uh, that are completely safe and non-toxic and unbelievably effective at destroying viruses. And you know, one thing I would suggest since uh, the last two seminars or webinars, I should say that you <clears throat> delivered uh, two Wednesdays ago, right? Last 10 days ago, eight days ago, and yesterday, or Tuesday, sorry. Um, people need to go uh, on YouTube and watch those. If you miss them, look at them again. Mm -hmm. because, you know, I see there's a few uh, people asking some questions on chat that kind of get into the specifics that you went over in grand detail 
uh, in your webinars, uh, you know, and I will call it a treasure trove of information. So I, I totally urge people to go back, look uh, at our YouTube channel. You'll find it, it's readily available there. Two webinars, they, uh, they went up recently. And take a look, because everything that Dave is talking about is their times 100 mm -hmm. in content and information that, that you can put to work, you can put to work instantly. So, Tim, one thing I'd love to piggyback on that, I passed those videos on to many people that because they were so full of information and there was nothing salesy about them. People who might not necessarily be interested in the patches, I could still say, this is like a public service David has done. There is so much great information and very comfortably pass them on to doctors, friends, you know, people who really had no involvement with LifeWave at all. So thank you, David, they were amazing. You're welcome. You know, just e even taking the coronavirus out of it for a moment, uh, there's people that needlessly suffer with other viral infections. Uh, the herpes virus, for example, people suffer with cold, uh, with cold sores, with uh, genital herpes, with shingles, and it's completely unnecessary. There are, you can take the information that was in that presentation and easily apply it. As a matter of fact, one of the studies that I referenced was how common vitamin C and copper is used to uh, completely um, debilitate the herpes virus. And, you know, there are other natural products that will do that as well. So, you know, the simple uh, fact of the matter, and, and the other thing is that that study was done by the FDA. <laughs> That's what's so incredible. Oh. You know, you say, well, you know, who did the study? Was it anybody credible? It was the FDA that did it. You know, so why isn't the FDA recommending these things and uh, why isn't someone able to market it and why isn't it available you know and, and so um this information has to get out there so people can use it especially especially now especially now yeah and 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 we would urge distributors listening now tell your teams tell your other leaders anybody that's not listening to indeed with anybody that's not in lifewave but you send those out, give them the links, provide the information, get it out there. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> that's the whole value of social, isn't it? So is the social platforms is let's use it to spread the word that, hey, there's common sense things you, you can do. Take a look, can't hurt hour long. It might change your life in terms of your ability to go get something at the drugstore and try something that no one else is paying any attention to. So common sense needs to prevail. And as you can tell, David and, and all of life, where we're kind of focused in the basics. Let's keep it simple. Let's not try to complicate it. Yes, our technology can work from the standpoint of reducing stress, as David talked about. That's something you can hang your hat on. And then all these other natural, natural solutions that we've talked about. So switch gears, David. Think about this. You know, are we perfectly positioned as a company in so many ways when you think about the business opportunity? That, that we all hold, that this interesting piece of gold we all have in our hands because goodness gracious, if there ever was a time when what LifeWave represents uh, is, is a story to be told, uh, now's the time, isn't it? Yeah, you know, uh, with that in mind, I wanna take this opportunity to thank the leadership in the company. Uh, Jim, as you know, we had a phenomenal call with them today and um, the leaders uh, and us, we spoke about how to have this outreach program into our community and uh, support those in need. And one of the things, of course, that comes up is how are we doing as a business and uh, you have to be funded in order to uh, help others uh, and we're in a great shape with that. But when you think about the confluence of events where you have more and more people are going into uh, quarantine to protect themselves. There's mandatory quarantines now. And uh, more people, if, if their business is not considered essential, they have to work from home. And it's uh, really unfortunate how many people have lost their jobs or their income has been dramatically reduced as a result of these circumstances. Well, uh, many people would have normally turned towards things like Uber and, uh, and, and other services to make some extra cash. And now uh, those opportunities are starting to go away, at least in the short term, and people need money now. So what better time to start an online business and do it with LifeWave? 
We have products that can make a meaningful difference in people's lives. And the beauty of this is our clinical studies, which are over 80 studies now, show that the products go to work immediately. So it's not that you have to take this pill and wait 30 days and hope that it's gonna take an effect. You can use the products now and see a benefit. So when you take the power of our products, they're completely unique, they're patented, they're exclusive, massive amounts of clinical data. We bring scientists that do studies uh, to our uh, meetings and, and to our events so people can meet those scientists. When you, when you take all of that and all the preparation uh, that you've done with the uh, marketing team, all the resources that we have, we're absolutely primed to offer an opportunity where people can build a business from their home. And it can be something as simple as doing an outreach by phone, by email, and of course, leveraging the massive power of social media, reaching out to your friends on uh, Facebook. And it doesn't have to be something where you are selling the product. You know, if I was going to be a distributor, which of course I'm not going to be <laughs> a distributor for the patches, but if I was going to be a distributor and I wanted to build the business, uh, the last thing that I would do is try to sell my friends and family. Uh, instead, what I would do is I would say, hey, I'm using this product and you're never going to believe what happened to me, uh, to borrow a line from Chuck Michael and from some others. You never believe what kind of results. Here, check out these pictures. Hey, take a look at what happened to this woman over in Denmark. She looks like she's 20 years younger after two months. Look at this fellow that was in this motorcycle accident and isn't it incredible how his hand healed. So I would, I would lure people in, <laughs> so to speak, by showing them some of the incredible testimonials and get them into the culture of the company and uh, as opposed to selling the product. So building the business uh, is incredibly fun, incredibly simple, and does not have to be complicated. And we have everything uh, that someone needs. So um, that's my take on it. Well, David, on that, uh... On that vein, I wanted to say, because I've been looking at some of the chat, because we did promise that we would ask you some of their questions. But one of the first thing I saw, from the first things I saw from Brad Hunsacker, who we both know, was yep. this giant thank you, thank you, thank you for extending the warranty to 90 days. I particularly think that's so wonderful because I'm one of those people that didn't have any real palpable results from X39 until that three month mark. Right. And then I went to wash my face and I was like, holy moly, this problem is problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, with the products, uh, of course, we find that the blood starts to change within 24 hours of applying X39. That doesn't mean everyone's going to feel it, but if you did the test, you would see it. Uh, and then, of course, we get statistical significance at seven days. Uh, some people still aren't going to notice it, but it is happening. And, of course, we do see with a small percentage of people that use it, uh, they need a little bit longer to really experience the uh, benefit. So I'm certainly glad that you hung in there. And uh, this is something that Jim and I uh, were really uh, excited about offering. And, and you bring up an interesting point, Paula, because... Some people don't respond in 24 days or a week or something like that. And so one of the things we put together, uh, Robin and Gregory Mascari were the or originators of something that I saw and it, we call it a health tracker. And we put that into uh, eight or nine languages. It sits in the back office. It's available there now. It's a downloadable PDF. And so it has information about the basics of X39, what makes it so special, unique, language you can use to describe it benefits to be anticipated. And on the flip side, on the back of that, is a chart where we urge, the, the, the form urges anybody who's gonna try the product, make a note of how you feel and what you're doing currently before you start the product. Mm -hmm. Have a baseline. Because you know we go through life and we don't pay attention sometimes to that ache or that pain that we have because we kind of decided to live with it and so we ignore it. But if we actually think about things, and we start to realize, well, actually, yeah, I do have a pain back here. I'm going to make a note. Yeah, I got a pain on my back. So the next thing you know, you go 24 hours, you go a few days, go a week, go a month. And as you're tracking and have that comparative, guess what? People realize, wow, wait a second. I'm sleeping better. I have more energy. 
my focus really has improved. Gee, that pain's gone away. And so then you have a concrete way to work with your customers to help them understand the process of learning what are the differences. And guess what? The minute they latch on to the fact that this has made such a significant difference, they instantly have their own story, don't they? And so this process of converting them to someone who may want to pick up some extra money part-time becomes so much easier because they can hang their hat on an experience they've had. They've become a product of the product. So remember, it's called the health tracker. It's in the back office. Uh, put it to work. Uh, it's a powerful tool to help people realize how good X39 is. Is yeah. that in the success library? It's in the back office, all right? As a PDF, it's downloadable. I don't think it's been put up in the success library yet. We're working on it, all right? The yeah. Health tracker for everybody. The health tracker is it. Exactly. So, David, we're, we've gone 35 minutes, believe it or not. We've zipped by. I've noticed one person said, hey, is 3% uh, concentration for hydrogen peroxide okay? Food grade, correct? And that's perfectly fine, isn't it? Yeah. Now, the common hydrogen peroxide over the counter is 3%, but it is not food grade. Okay. Uh, and it's perfectly fine to gargle with that. You just don't want to ingest it for multiple reasons. Okay. Now, usually food grade is going to be 30%. Usually, uh, you can get a food grade at 3%, uh, but anything above 3%, you would have to dilute. 3% would be about the maximum. And in the clinical research, it was actually 0.5% that killed the novel coronavirus. So gargling with 3% is definitely going to be fine. It's going to work. And you can do that without diluting it. Oh, the yeah, absolutely. You can do it straight out of the bottle. You don't need to dilute 3%. Now, hydrogen peroxide is rocket fuel, quite literally, mm -hmm. uh, but at very, very high concentrations, above 90%. It's what um, the British Navy, and I believe at one point the U.S. Navy, they don't do it anymore. Uh, they were using hydrogen peroxide as uh, rocket fuel in their uh, torpedoes. Um, and one of my inventions, actually, for the Navy back in the day involved hydrogen peroxide, but that's a different story. Uh, but anyway, 3% is perfectly fine. One, one thought I'm noticing someone's looking for the health checker in the background. It's health tracker, T-R-A-C-K-E-R. All righty. And it's there as a PDF. Well, David, look, thank you very much. This has been highly informative. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we, before we allow you to uh, uh, move on to the rest of your evening? Is there anything else you'd like to say as, as a kind of a summary? Yeah, I would say that um, we're here for the members and the things that we're thinking about, you know, first is what can we do that's meaningful to help people in need? Uh, so obviously one of the things that we wanted to do this past week was give money, just a little bit of extra money so people can buy some food and supplies and try to get the money into the hands of maybe people that, um, you know, weren't making so much. They were maybe working part-time, just getting their business started. Maybe they experienced some type of hardship. We wanted to do that. We're looking at donations of patches and how can we get patches out to people that are in need that maybe can't afford them right now. Uh, we're looking at how maybe we can structure promotions without compromising uh, inventory and supply chain given some of the global uncertainty. So we're, we're spending a tremendous amount of time and effort trying to think this through and uh, working with the leadership who's been so generous of their time in helping us to uh, think through this. I, I can't thank the leadership in this company enough for pooling together. They're an incredible group of people. Uh, they, ob they absolutely uh, wanna make a difference and, uh, and get help out to the people that need it. So uh, we're gonna get through this together as a community. And uh, when this is all done, uh, we're gonna come out and be a stronger company as a result, you know, we can use the opportunities. Uh, they say in life, when you're met with trouble, you can either break or you can bounce. Uh, you, have, you, have that, uh, you have that choice to make. And this situation is no different. I know that there's many people out there that are hurting. They're under a lot of stress, maybe financial stress or other. And, um, but the best thing to do is uh, kind of accept the circumstance, face it head on, Know that there's people around you that love you, that care about you, and you're going to get through it and be okay. And David, I want to say too, thank you for 
that the sensitivity you had and the information you gave in the webinars that you suggested things that won't cost an arm and a leg and that are pretty easy for most people to get. That was really helpful for so many people I know. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. You know, that it, it's, there are many things out there that are antivirals. Uh, and uh, the things that I didn't want to cover were the exotics. Uh, it wasn't meant to be, uh, you know, kind of an all-inclusive list. Um, there are things like Rife technology, which I didn't get into because it's prohibitively expensive and uh, it's not even practical in this case. So I, I didn't want to go down that road. So yeah, the idea was here are things that are inexpensive, available, proven effective, and uh, most likely uh, not going to cause any type of harm. So take it to your doctor and uh, let, them, uh, let them see where you can go with that. Yeah. And of course, David, what's remarkable and what's fantastic is that you, as our, as our fearless leader, uh, you, you have the knowledge base to be able to just sit there and talk about it for an hour. And we recognize that, and it's a fantastic asset. And we, we're very appreciative of, of, of the, 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 your ability to deliver that kind of information virtually off the top of your head. And, and that's a fantastic thing as a resource. So, so good on you, my friend. Well, you know, uh, using uh, Eon, Carnosine, X39, all of these products that we have to improve cognitive function, you would think that it would have done some benefit uh, for me over the years. So, <laughs> you know, I'm glad I'm, I'm uh, I don't know what kind of birthday I'm going to have this year. I'm, a, I'm going, I'm approaching 57, but I'm grateful that I have the telomeres of a 32-year-old. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, you know, all that being said, I'm, I'm delighted that uh you know i'm turning into this part of my life and uh physically i've never been better uh, and uh you know certainly as an inventor i want to protect my cognitive function so i'm yeah. delighted that part of the development process with lifewave has included products that make such a dramatic impact mm -hmm. on the health and function of the brain and uh yeah there might be some more things coming down the road those of us with more collagen, we want to thank you too, David. <laughs> <laughs> Let's don't forget the vanity factor here. <laughs> oh, you know, there's there's nothing uh, vain about that at all. You know, collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. And I, I once had the opportunity to have dinner in uh, Santa Monica with a uh, scientist from France. And he is uh, researching longevity. And he and I both had a similar interest, a very specific interest in longevity. And one of the things that we discussed was how many scientists underestimate the value of collagen when it comes to age reversal. And, uh, you know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with collagen supplements and injecting collagen and, and all those kind of things. But the trick is if you can get the body to make its own collagen, then you start to see these age reversal phenomena show up. And that's exactly what we're doing with the patches uh, in X39. We're getting the body to upregulate production of its own collagen. And uh, that's very, very important. Yahoo. <laughs> think about the technology all at all. All it does is take what the body's designed to do naturally and allow it to function better. I mean, that is an overarching statement that's pretty true, is it not, David? I mean, that's part of the brilliance of the technology. Yeah, you know, if we look at really what's going on in the body, uh, I had, when I went to college, I got my uh, degree in management information system, and then later I went back for uh, biology. But if we look at the body as a computer, or if we look at our our genes, the information contained in the genes as being a computer database, then what we say is, okay, well, how did that information get there? How is it encoded? How is it used? How does it change over time? It, there are some very interesting parallels that can be drawn between biological systems and computer systems. But at the end of the day, you ask yourself, how is all of this information relayed throughout the body and utilized? And, and it is light our body's using light. So it makes sense that if we want to have a beneficial impact on our health, if we want to have an influence over that information in our genes, that we would use what the body uses anyway, which is light. So eventually, uh, you know, I think Western medicine will catch up to this and um, will be more in line with what we've been doing is using light in this way as a therapy. 
um, it, you know, saw an interesting article from um, out in uh, Science Today at Stanford where they were talking about age reversal effects using stem cells. And I was delighted that we're probably 10 or 15 years ahead of Stanford in this research. <laughs> yes. No offense to Stanford, because I love them, but no offense. But we are, we are about 10 to 15 years ahead of them. Well, and this is why, when you think about why you're getting the calls from, and I've said it more than once, from elite scientists around the world saying pretty much, now, what are you doing? That's, what's, that's what we have to recognize as, as a distributor base out in the field. When you think about the incredible power of the technologies being recognized by folks that are, you know, going down the straight and narrow, they're at the Harvards and the Stanfords of the world, they're doing their thing and they're going, wait a minute. What did I just hear about over here? Let me call this guy David Schmidt. And that's happening, isn't it, David? And you must be thrilled that, you know, let's say you, you've worked in the trenches for 15 years with this technology. And finally, along <laughs> the way, I mean, the calls have been accelerated, have, accelerating, haven't they, from folks like that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, just even within this past week, uh, last night I had a very interesting call, and I, I can't get into any of the details, but it was someone that had been speaking with, um, I guess the, what I would say is this is a branch of the federal government and they have been looking into copper as an antiviral. And of course, that's what we we're talking about. And they were saying, well, the, the problem that we can't solve at this massive institution is how do you mobilize the copper and uh, get it to function as an antiviral? And of course, you know, that's exactly what we're doing with the patches. Uh, copper peptide has the ability to mobilize copper and uh, have it function and, and do some really amazing things, not the least of which is activating the body's stem cells. So um, yeah, that, I mean, that's wonderful recognition to get those kind of calls. But at, at the end of the day, um, you know, we want the science validated and uh, because we're so much more than just a network marketing company right. and we can use this message and this vehicle to transform lives uh, all over the planet. And we're doing it today uh, and uh, it only keeps getting better. Yeah, no, it's exciting stuff. Well, look at that. We were gonna stop 10 minutes ago and here we are still here. <laughs> it's, all <laughs> it's all good. It is it's all good. good. So Thank much, you. David. This was wonderful having you with us and, and available to answer all of these questions for us. My pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for having me. It was great. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Night. Well, Paula, you know, it's, uh, we, we never grow tired, do we, in terms of understanding how fantastic the technology is, how good David is at communicating some of the most complicated science you could possibly have, but he can, he can uh, distill it down into statements that make sense to all yeah. of us. Yes. You know, I, if you took notes on this conversation tonight, which of course is uh, we've been broadcasting Facebook Live and you'll have a chance, this is gonna be on YouTube and you'll have a chance to go back over this and make sure on anything that you might have missed. But the bottom line is, you know, we continue and we wanna to continue to flow information out to you to make sure you're informed. Uh, Paula asked some great questions that precipitated from, from David some terrific answers so that we just know more. So we just get better at being able to tell the story how can people benefit? What's the right way to talk about this so we don't go off into the danger zone and get in trouble? And, and the good news is there are some ways we can talk about it. So what a great night, huh, Paula? It was incredible, incredible. And I think we should talk a little bit about what our giveaway is going to be tonight. Okay. Because one of the things we've been discussing is that at a time like this, it's very, very important to stay positive. It's very, very important to look for the silver linings, if you will. And um, I have been really focusing on that lately since I'm doing a little live stream thing on Facebook each day. And so I find these things online, Jim, that I think are such beautiful stories, like in Spain and France and Italy, at a certain time every night, the people open their windows and they clap and cheer for the first responders, for the doctors and nurses, for the paramedics, for all of those people who are really on our front line right now. 
And one of the things I also loved was it was suggested that the next time you see a doctor or a nurse or one of those kinds of people, say thank you for your service to them. Let's don't just reserve that for military personnel these days because these people are really on the front lines. And I heard from a client in LA today that last night at eight o'clock, people in LA started coming out on their front porches or opening their windows and clapping and cheering too. So I hope we'll get it going everywhere. Wherever you are, when your eight o'clock comes, do it so we can get some positive energy flowing. And so on that note, looking for something positive, Jim, tell them what we're going to do about a giveaway. Oh, look at you, what a segue. Yeah, no, it's interesting, isn't it? So we decided indeed, look, we're, we're all bogged down in the reality. We can't do this, we're not supposed to do that. Stand up, sit down, stop talking, whatever. The bottom line is though, there's some positive things coming out of this whole situation, aren't there? How many stories have we heard, like Paula was just describing, families are actually starting to talk with one another. They're actually starting to re-engage. Uh, and so we were thinking in terms of giving away some product, guess what we're giving away tonight, Paula? We've decided to kind of pull out the stops. Let's talk X39, Eon, Silent Nights, and Glutathione, a package, okay? That 19th email, and here's all you have to do. Tell us a story about something that you've noticed that's been happening with you personally that's on the positive side. What, what has occurred that's been like, oh my goodness, that just happened. That's a good thing. Tell us what's happening in your world right now that's positive. Things that have, have kind of turned around in an interesting way, kind of an unintended consequence of this crazy virus over here is making good things happen over there. Have you seen uh, a good Samaritan do something really nice? Did you notice something? You know, what have you noticed people are doing? Tell us the stories. And uh, the 19th email that we get in, we're going to give you a terrific, a terrific gift of uh, X39, Glutathione, Eon, and Silent Nights, because let's sleep better. Let's have less stress. Glutathione, as David just talked about, helps relieve stress as well. And of course, X39, big time. We know how beneficial it can be. So anything else, Paula? I think uh, what, now at lifewave.com, now at lifewave.com is where you send that, okay? And uh, we'll make sure that we uh, select the person and let you know in the next few days who the winner is. All right, Paul. And, and we will be reading some of those stories next time so we can share that good news with everybody and maybe even spread some good ideas of things that we can do. And, you know, and, and like David said, even though we are confined right now, let's find meaningful things to accomplish every day. And maybe one of those is finding somebody who really needs to know about these patches to change their lives. That can make a day very meaningful, even if you can't go outside and play. And you make a good point on two, two fronts is, is you know, we've, we've multiple times now said, hey, on our next webinar, we're going to share some of the stories or some of the content, some of the ideas you've sent in. And it seems like each time we've done a LifeWave now, there's been a reason why we haven't done that. Well, going forward, we're going to be going to use it as an element at the top of every show, regardless of what's going on. We'll talk about several things that you've sent in. So, so just know that we're, we're hearing you and we're seeing you and we're reading these emails. But each time when we get to the actual show, it seems like something else is, uh, has proven to, to take precedent. So we're going to change that, number one. Number two, when's the next webinar? It's going to be April 8th, two weeks out. And guess what? We are bringing on a new director of marketing. He's going to be working with me to start taking on some of the detail work that's if I were to show you what my agenda is, it's, it's, it's a long list. And so we're bringing the cavalry's coming. We're going to be, we've been in the process of upsizing our staff and that's going to continue. But this fellow's name is Rex Kokerhans. He's from Utah, super guy, ton of experience, been there, done that in the network marketing end of things on the corporate side. He's going to be our guest on LifeWave Now. We're going to spend the half hour. We're going to get to know him. We're going to talk to him about the types of things that he's learned are, are uh, solid uh, elements that need to be part of any successful network marketing company, current best practices, what he thinks of LifeWave, why has he joined us in the first place. Let's talk about his family. Let's get to know him because he's going to be a terrific addition uh, to our team and we're going to share him with you on our next LifeWave now on April 8th. So now at lifewave.com is where you send in your story of positivity. Paula, anything else? 
I think that's pretty much it, except that I just want to say that we're so delighted you were with us tonight and, and our hearts are with all of you. I know this is a, a crazy time in that there's ups, there's downs, but I really, I like thinking of it as a reset. You know, there's some scary parts of it, but it's also giving us an opportunity to reset, to stop the frantic pace we've been running at and maybe look at how we really want our lives to be. And maybe we want them to be fulfilled and not just busy. So thanks for being with us, all of us, all of you. Thank you, Jim. It was a fun show. Thank you, David. Thanks, Paula. Well said. And folks, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for sticking in. We know a whole bunch of you stick around till the exact last minute. We appreciate that because there's always a nugget that kind of flows toward the end, uh, isn't there? So thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, we'll see you at the top. Good night, Paula. Good night. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.